So in this part, we will be looking at the results. So for that, go to scenes and go to scalar. Now go to scene plots, open the scalar and into the parts, add the the add the parts on which you want to see the pressure or velocity contour or any other function so for now i want to see the pressure contour so for that i will be selecting my board geometry and the symmetric plane and later on i will go for the absolute pressure now as you can see there is a high pressure above the ut and low pressure under the ut this will suck the underbody towards the ground hence it is right at sensitive also you can see that a high pressure is created near the inlet if you want to remove this pixelated the pixelation then click on scalar and select smooth filled this would decrease the pixelation and now the results are quite good now you can even see the scale of uh, velocity but the velocity is being the vector quantity can be only seen on the on the planes you can see the high velocity is created under the under the ut now to see the velocity in the vector form go to vector open vector select parts and select the symmetric plane now you can see the vectors are created if you want you can change the vectors to line integral convolution this would create streamline structures on it. you can edit these over here by increasing the step or or likewise these are better if you want to see the animation of how these streamlines are flowing then go to animations and select pulse and play now you can see the flow properly over here near the inlet the vortices are created okay now stop the animation now if you want to see how the velocity is changing along the x direction then go to simulation uh, go to derive parts new part and go to section plane over here create a plane which is parallel to the sim symmetric plane and create and close now you can see a plane is created over if you want to hide the plane double click on the section geometry this would hide the plane now go to vector parts add the section plane and remove the symmetric plane now you can see
the plane is added to the geometry. Now go to animation, select as continuous sweep and plane. Now you can see that uh, the plane moves along the x direction. No. Uh, now like now you can see as the plane moves along the x direction how the flow changes you can change the displacement of the plane by changing the time step over here now if you want to see the streamlines that are created then go make a make a scale scalar scalar or any or a vector scene go to simulation go to derive parts new part streamline and in the streamline select the seed part as a underbody faces select both and create this would create the streamlines that are really very close to the geometry once the streamline are done then then go back and for better view go to scene plots in the scalar add the underbody okay and uh, the lower one is for the scalar view and the upper one is for the streamline so in the streamline select velocity now you can see there is a quite turbulence created over here and also there is a huge amount of turbulence over here Okay, so if you want to see the animation of the streamline, then go to streamline animation and put it select tracers. Now you can see how the flow is around the UT. Now, if you want to see the reports, then go to simulations and in the report, double click on the report. This is the amount of downforce in Newtons that is created and this is a drag. So as we have done the simulation on the symmetric plane, then these values are the double to the actual values. Okay. So around 68 Newton of drag is created due to this. Using this analysis you can optimize the under further.